Hello and welcome to episode 40 of Their Caller's Journeyman here on YouTube. Scouting for goals, won the playoff final and got promoted, which means they're now in the league above us. We've got a bit of a summer rebuild. It's not going to be mass changes, I don't think, because we did end pretty well um, last season, just fell a little bit short. So we're hoping to strengthen midfield mainly. This video will be a little snippet of the transfer window, showing you what happened when and who we're going to get rid of and who we're not. Like I said, midfield's probably the place we need to strengthen and a bit of depth in other areas. But I'm hopeful next season it's got to be the title winning season and we've got to get out of this division. We'll also have a catch up on our four players from uh, from the start of getting on. And just really, that'll be it. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and let's have a look how we get on. So we're firstly going to just have a quick look at a, a team report as we end the season. Um, well, up front, I've got a couple of trial listings, so we'll avoid them. Um, as it stands at this moment, Burrell and Medina clearly as front two. Nick Green's as young lad, 19-year-old um, Australian kid. He's our young lad, so and we've, he's got potential, so he's going to stick around. So really another striker um, would be on my shopping list. If I could, that would be the first thing I'd be looking at. Um, Ali Regbar, superb player on the right, but nothing underneath him. Sam Unwin's going to be on his way this summer. Um, as is... Um, no, just Sam, Sam Unwin's going to be on his way. Dan Mooney's going to be staying. Um, we've offered a contract to him. I think he did enough towards the end of the season. Mensa. I'm not sure. Have I offered him a contract? I haven't offered him a contract because he had a really poor end to the season, Mensa. Um, and I think we could possibly do a little bit better than him. But I may still keep him. So, a striker and a left winger and a right winger for starters. Um, central midfield is where I feel that we've got four decent players. Hognett's apparently the best of the lot, which I'm, I'm not sure I totally agree with. Um, but Matty Wolf, um, we know he's got a bit, did well towards the end of last season, and I think he's going to be. He's going to be his main, probably his main uh, midfielder. Um, I'm not adverse to keeping Cornet or Ramshaw or Rodney. I'm quite happy to roll them around, but I would like an outstanding one if we could. Um, so that's definitely an area. Left bike, incredibly happy with Jake Kenyon who's been superb for us, and Snell, Marcus Snell underneath him, um, determination, young lad, I've, I've got a lot of big hopes for him next year as we approach the Cups as well. Right back, Connolly, again, pretty happy with Joel Connolly, did well for me last season, I've got no complaints with him at all, um, can't complain, apart from him being five foot three, but to be fair, he had a good season for us, so no problems with him. Neil Meyer has not been really involved. Um, his contract's expiring shortly, so he will be on his way. So another right back is definitely needed. Um, centre halves. Um, it's a position I most like purchasing, which might sound a bit. Not everybody loves defending, but I'm interested. I like my centre halves. Um, as main two last year were Evans and Ray, weren't they? You'd have to say. Um, I plan to keep Evans around. Because I do like him and I think his leadership and all that. Um, that's definitely something. Ray's going to be on his way. We're not going to be renewing his loan. Ivan Gums never really got a game. Never really got a game. And I feel like he's the sort of player that's probably going to be on his way as well. Um, so I'm looking at two, possibly three new centre-halves. Um, and I think that's that's probably necessary. Goalkeepers, I'm, I'm very happy with my goalkeepers. So, so bearing all that in mind, we want two centre-halves, possibly three. Two centre-halves, a right back, that's three players. Probably one in centre and midfield, that's four. A winger on each side, five and six. And another player up front, seven. So seven players I reckon we need to, uh, to become a title-winning side. 
So that's what we're going to be on the lookout for. So I'll see if I can make a few signings. Um, and then I will be back with you. First player through the door. And it is 18-year-old striker Daniel Henderson. He signs on a free transfer from Newcastle. Um, he's on a non-contract deal, but there's a lot to like. Pace, stamina, acceleration, aggression, work rate, six foot, um, either foot. Um, there's a lot, real lot to like about him. He doesn't look to further himself, but physical player. Could be pretty good. But could be a pretty good asset in this league. So, if all signings are like that, then we'll not be in a bad position. We'll come back after the next one. A few more signings have arrived. And first one I'm going to show you um, is Ray Cullen. He comes in on loan from Preston. A Metzala D-line playmaker. He can play any position in that midfield, any role. Aggression, he can pass, he can tackle. Technique, work rate, vision, everything. This guy could be a massive, massive signing for us. Um, and I'm really happy to have got him. Um, next one is Max, Max Deitch. He's a six foot two centre half on loan from Northampton. Um, jumping reach, natural fitness, heading, marking, and tackling. And positioning, what more do you want from a centre half than that? Um, and then the big one, Jaden Major. He is coming in as our new left winger, can play as a attacking midfield left or as a, uh, a standard midfield left. Um, five foot seven, pace, acceleration, agility, natural fitness, dribbling, crossing and first touch. This lad's got the lot. Currently operating at a level of the league above and potential to be a sky bet league one midfielder in the future. So that's his next little batch of signings. We've got his first friendly coming up now. So we'll see how we're getting in that. And we've got a few more on trial as well. So, so looking good so far. A few more good, good signings coming in. Um, let's have a look. First of all, I don't think you've seen... Have you seen J. Emmanuel Thomas? I'm not sure you have. J. Emmanuel Thomas. Now, this guy has been signed purely as an emergency backup option. It must be said, he's not going to be starting many games. But he's certainly going to be in and around the squad. Um, long shots of 16, flair. I think he played against us last season and did quite well. He's getting to that age now where he's no longer much use. But I'm hoping just he might just be useful for cup competitions and maybe if we're desperate. Um, he's on a non-contract. He's emergency backup. He, he were a bit of a no-brainer in my opinion. Um, next one, Ashton Hall. This guy, ex Sheffield United. Right back can also play centre half at six foot two. Lot to be excited about here. Three star current poten current ability, four and a half star potential. Decisions, tackling, marking, heading, everything you like to see. Potential League One right back in the future. Next up, Patrick Gardner. If you play, if you're in the Manchester City Academy, you're not a bad player. This kid certainly isn't. He's just scored on his debut in the friendly. Acceleration, agility and pace down the right-hand side will give competition to Ali Regbar. Um, and I'm really looking forward to see what he can do again. Um, he's, he's a good player, really good player. And I think he's going he's gonna to help us out. Um, and finally, I'm excited about this kid. Six foot four, ex-Manchester City centre-half Dante Hall. A Bermudan, who's surely going to be a Bermudan international. Um, jumping reach, natural fitness, determination, tackling, heading, marking, everything you want in a centre half. And he will slot in lovely at the side of the other guy. I actually think Will Evans now will probably be third choice. Um, as I believe him and Max Deitch will be the centre half pairing. But that's yet to be seen. We've got a couple more friendlies to go um, before we do show you the first game of the season. But it's looking promising. It's really looking promising. So, guys, no more signings. Um, that's it for it. That's it all done. So, we're going to have a quick look round now as, as old players that, um, that we want to have a look at. So, firstly, uh, we'll have a look at Nick Austin. Nick Austin's still at Shrewsbury, valued at 700,000. Shrewsbury, who are still in the championship and doing well. 
Um, what did he do last year? 37 appearances, average of 6.81. Did quite well, so it looks like Nick Austin stayed at Shrewsbury. Joe, oops, it is it. That's not what I wanted to do. Joe Flanagan with one in. Still at Middlesbrough. Wanted by Brighton, but now valued at 1.9 million. Um, played a few games in the championship, 42 games last year, scoring four goals, average rating of 6.95. Andrew Crutchley, I believe, has gone back to Dundee on loan again from Middlesbrough. Yep, yeah, on loan at Dundee. Did well in Scotland last year, five goals in uh, 37 appearances with eight assists. 6.95 and he's gone back on loan for this season. And then my junior player is at Salford still, valued at 92,000. Um, played a lot last year, but didn't quite get Salford promoted, but staying the same. Now, we face Warrington away on the first game of the season. There is big, big team news. And the big team news is that Roman Burrell will not be starting this first game. He's not done well in pre-season. He's, he's not been playing anywhere near where I'd expect him to. So he, he's dropped, basically. So your team is going to be Winterbottom in goal. A back four of Ashton Hall, Evans, Max Deitch and Jake Kenyon. Wolf and Cornet keep their places as the midfield two. Regbar on the right, Major on the left with Medine and Green as the front two. Henderson's had a good pre-season. Um, Dan Anderson being superb, Gardner also, a few not up to, quite up to fitness yet, but Burrell just hasn't been doing it, and unfortunately, I'm picking him on form, and, and Nick Green's played well, and that's all I can do really, I can't, um, I can't say fairer than that, I don't believe, so it is what it is, you've got to do more than that to be inside. Um, this should be a game that hopefully... We are pre-season favourites, by the way, for the title. That's important to know. Do this for the fans. And let's see. Let's just see how we get on. Hopefully, we can have a positive start to the season. So, it's Hall early doors knocking it forward. Medine picks it up and picks it up well. It's into Cornet. Cornet now. Down the right-hand side to Hall. And Hall knocks one down going to Reg Bar, who wins a throw-in. An early throw-in for Altrincham. On the right hand side, Hall to take into Medine. Medine back to Hull, it's knocked in long, Armstrong heads away. Are we first to pick that up? We are. Dyke steps in well and it's back out to Hall again. Hall into Regbar. Regbar, Medine, oh, it's blocked, it's a good block. But we come again, it's back out to Hall. Who does well? And it's headed away again by Warrington. But a positive start from us, however, they have got a breakaway here. Uh, which hopefully Will Evans is going to deal with, and he does. Wolf now will try and win back possession in this midfield area. But they play it down our left-hand side. Kenyon's across to try and make a tackle, he does, and it's knocked up long to Green. Nick Green now into Medine. Reg Bar's running through. He's also got Hall on the overlap, if you can see him. He has Hall's here again. He's been well involved early on, and it's back all the way to Evans. But a positive start from the Robins. You've got to fancy us this season. You really have got to fancy us this season. We've been good in pre-season. Um, we only lost one game. That was at Man United under 23s who, who really did do, a job, did do a job on us even. Cornet to whip in this corner. Medine's far post. He's headed down. Major edge of the box. Deflected. Major again. It's another deflection. And it's run out. But Major, he should be a massive player for us this season. Dan Mooney unlucky probably not to keep his place, but this major does have a bit more quality in areas that, that could be key. Um, as he takes control on this left-hand side, it's back to Max Deitch. Deitch into Cornet. Cornet's got all kinds of space in midfield. Into Green, who plays it back to Cornet. Medine there. Cornet dictating things here, and he plays it outright to, outright to Hull. Hull back into Cornet. Out to Regbar. Regbar. Keeps it in just, but loses out, and it's cleared away along by Warrington. Will Evans gets underneath it. Warrington's got a chance here, and that's a good, good tackle by Max Deitch on his debut. Will Evans, I've kept him in 
as the elder statesman in the team, a leader at the back. But, like I say, we have got Dante Hall, um, who was a, a cracking young player. But I felt that we should just have a bit of experience inside for this first game of the season. It's important to have that, I feel. As they knock up long, they're in behind again. And Winterbottom makes a good save. And it seems like we, they are getting in behind Evans, which is the worrying thing. As Warrington now, uh, take a corner. It's drifted into our box, but it's headed away well by Wolf and will press. Not long back in, but comes to nothing. We haven't had a shot on target yet. Must be said. Hall now into Medin. Medin plays it back to Cornet. Edge of the box, and we know Cornet can strike one. Hit that one well, and the keeper's just palmed it away. But Cornet with a corner. Whips him right footed. Medin back stick. It's a good header. It's on target, but the keeper gathers it well. And we are still pressing forward. Hall into Cornet. Cornet doesn't do a real good job of that. And now Warrington really could have the chance to break, should they wish. Wolf pressing with press well there. Major forced Warrington all the way back. As Nick Green tries to close down the goalkeeper. Hall wins the header. Reg Bar can't get there. Hull's got a chase on down this right hand side. The ex Sheffield United man defending on this right. He's put into the box and Winterbottom makes a comfortable save. 6.4 for Mage. Not quite been his game so far. 6.5 for Green. Um, you'd have to say that despite probably having the better of the chances, we've not been as good as we could have been there. Uh, we'll give him a little bit of the kick up the back side. Um, we'll leave it for 10-15 minutes and then we'll make his decisions based on that, I think, because there's no need to panic just yet. It's first game of the season, but I do expect us really... I mean, we've got Roman Burrell on the bench to come on. Green now with the corner. Whips it in. Evans is there and Evans gets his head to it first, but it's just over. From the Robinson to half, and as, as time ticks on, Warrington have a corner. Warrington now to whip that corner, and Winterbottom does well. Now, can we break? I'm looking at Reg Bar down that right hand side. If Winterbottom can see him, he does. And Reg Bar now down this right beats his first man. Oh, he strikes it, but poor decision, really. Poor decision making. And now Warrington on the attack. We do look dangerous on the break, it must be said. We have got pace. We've got pace to burn. Especially down these wings now. That's a decent ball inside. Winterbottom tidies it up, lovely. Deitch just ushered it back to him. Deitch making a, having a good debut at centre-half. It's knocked up long towards Medina, who takes a lovely touch. Now he's got Reg Bar. And there is Reg Bar, Wolf. Corn it! Oh, it's in the bar! Oh, how has that not gone in? I cannot believe that's not gone in. And I think that's going to be the cue for changes. And I think it's going to be Major that comes off. And Dan Mooney will come on on the left-hand side um, as our first substitution of the new season. Dan Mooney, a man that we know we can trust after last season. But um, Major, sadly, not setting the world light on his debut. But he has shown us some good promise in pre-season. Don't write him off just after that one game. As Warrington knock it long, but Winterbottom collects. And, and to be fair, it's been pretty comfortable for our goalkeeper. You'd have to say, Winterbottom knocks it long upfield. They win the header, though. As they knock it, try and knock it over the top, but Deitch does well there. And Cornet, Cornet plays a lovely ball out to Mooney. Mooney attacking his fullback. It's into Green. And Nick Green justifies the decision to play him in front of Roman Burrell. It's a cracking it's a cracking assist from Dan Mooney down the left. Uh, showing us everything that we really hoped that Major would do. But he's got to keep well on his right foot. Tried to beat his man. He does. He plays a ball in. Nick Green finishes it well. Down to the goalkeeper's near post. And as things stand, we are off to a winning start. And I think there's going to be changes. But we'll just watch this highlight as Wolf plays it back to Deitch. Deitch knocks it down the left. Wolf recovers it, and Wolf into Cornet, Mooney, Medine, Gary Medine, oh, and it's a good strike. 
saved well by the Warrington goalkeeper. And it will be Gary Medine's last effort of the game as Dan Henderson will come on as a pressing forward just to give us something a little bit different up front. This is the options we've got this year. Probably last year we didn't have this option. But um, this Henderson lad looks like he's going to be a star. Maybe he hasn't got the determination that you'd want. Will Evans has been done again. That's a cracking tackle. That is a cracking tackle by Ash Hall. Uh, right back to deny Warrington a scoring chance there. But um, as I was saying, Dan Henderson, he's got pace, power, pressing, work rate. Not got, quite got the determination that I would like in my striker, but it's, uh, it must be said that he just gives us a little bit of a different option as Wolf picks this up in midfield. Reg Barnard striding into the Warrington half. Plays it back to Corny, and now he's got Hall on the overlap. Hall. Takes a touch on his right foot. It's inside to Cornet. Cornet was had a good game so far today. Exchanges passes with his midfield partner. It's knocked out to the left. Mooney heads it. And Green, oh, it's a good save. It's a cracking save by the Warrington goalkeeper. But what? What a move that were. Nick Green now with the corner. It's whipped in. It's headed away. Deitch does well. And unfortunately, Warrington do manage to get it clear. And I think we will just drop it to Cautious. Um, and hopefully play this out. But they do have a free kick on the edge of the box, which they've popped straight in. Oh, how have they deserved that? And we'll have to go back positive. <sighs> Questions about the goalkeeper there, you'd have to say. As Dan Mooney picks it up on this left hand side, we're back up to positive. Hopefully, we can. Have an instant reply. Will Evans has missed the third header of the game. It's a good save from Winterbottom. But Will Evans has missed three or four headers this afternoon. Unfortunately, that weren't the fourth, that weren't the fifth. Winterbottom now. Can we break again? Knocks it up long. Henderson. Dan Henderson running at the back four. He plays, oh he doesn't, he shoots, he actually shoots and that's a, a strange decision from the young man there. Mooney now, free kick, it's whipped in. And Warrington could have a break on here, unless we win this ball back, which we don't. But Jake Kenyon will collect that and now we'll hopefully knock the ball forward again. We do, Mooney wins the header into green. Oh, they were a chance back to Mooney but Wolf finds him now. Wolf tries to, Mooney tries to get it across, sorry, but can't. He's closing him down. And Warrington, you'd have to set play out of this well. Do they? We don't quite win it. And they've played out of that very well. It's knocked all the way back to them. We're hoping for a good header here that's not got. They're in behind. Oh, and Winterbottom makes a good save. And you'd have to say, we're a good move again. It's not been a it's not been a dull game by any stretch of the imagination. This Watts now whips it in. Wolf heads away, and he's done that a few times today. He's been good in our box, um, clearing these clearing these set pieces. It's whipped across, but you'd have to say Warrington look the more likely to pinch this now. Kenyon goes across to match up his man. Is there another chance in this? It doesn't look like there's going to be, or if there is, it's going to be a Warrington one as it's knocked in long. Die sheds it. Henderson back to Hall who smashes it upfield. And I think that's probably going to be all she wrote. And after a probably pleasing performance, we'll just hold his breath a minute here as that's a good idea by Evans. Um, after a pretty pleasing performance, you'd have to say. In terms of dominating the ball, we've not been good enough in certain areas. And we've lost it. And we've lost it. <laughs> oh, and we've lost it. The pre-season favourites. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable.
I mean, that... That really wasn't the script. And you've got to be massively disappointed at that. I don't think his play probably warranted that, but you'd have to say after half time, or certainly second second half at second half, they've been better than us. Title favourites, promotion ambition, lose the first game of the season. Of course we do. Hopefully, in a few games' time, when I see you next, we'll be uh, we'll have put that right. But thank you so much, so much for watching. Um, do leave a like and hit subscribe if if you want to see more of these videos. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. See you later.